I feel like 1996's Space Jam is unjustly mocked, perhaps underrated, but maybe to some looked back upon with nostalgia goggles heightened to a place where maybe it doesn't quite belong. Vaughn Jog Vlog. So this tells the story of Michael Jordan, famed basketball player, absolute elite, the GOAT, his airness, stepping away from basketball to pursue minor league baseball. Meanwhile, on a distant planet, the Moron Mountain amusement park is seeking new talent, something loony, like the Looney Tunes. Some goon aliens come in, penetrate the Earth's surface, where they encounter Bugs Bunny and co. Now Bugs thinks he can get the best of these scrawny aliens by challenging them to a basketball game. If the Toons lose, they'll go to Moron Mountain and be the new attraction. But the aliens have an ace up the sleeve. They can steal the talent of NBA stars such as Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, a tall white guy you probably don't even know about, transforming them into the Mon Stars. With Bugs Bunny justifiably freaked out, he calls upon the talents of Michael Jordan. We gotta get you back into basketball, you gotta help us. And with little hesitation, Michael agrees. Now the comedy in this is actually stronger than I perhaps recall. Bill Murray does as much as he can with the, what, maybe five minutes he has in this movie? Really not bad. And I can totally buy Bill Murray, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird being a trio on the links. And is it a little racy to drop in a Larry's not white, he's clear joke? Can we do anything remotely like that now? I like the fact that Michael Jordan has a dog named Charles Barkley. Probably the biggest laugh I got was out of this tiny little sequence where the tunes are trying to get into shape, watching Richard Simmons, and not quite emulating the moves. You can see Sylvester is a little off, going the wrong direction, and I just like that little wrinkle. Oh look, a Pulp Fiction reference. It, it, it was the mid-90s, guys. Bugs and Daffy swipe Michael's Air Jordan 9s, but when he wears them on the court, they are transformed into 11s. I do have some issue with the art direction in this movie. It looks like the tunes are a little over softened with shadow effects and it kind of just makes them look undefined. The crisper shadows in Who Framed Roger Rabbit are a little more appealing. And when Michael Jordan and other humans are interacting in the tune world, they look a little off color. Like maybe the black level isn't strong or the composite work to remove the green screen affected their skin tones. I think where this movie gets bullied the most is in the performance of Michael Jordan. He's the goat on the court, but not on the screen. And he's not awful. He just is a little lacking in the charisma one needs to be an actor. And a lot of athletes do not have the voice for acting and you see this a lot in local advertisements when they bring in the football player and he can barely read the car he's getting through it a little awkward maybe the voice just doesn't get picked up by the microphone maybe with some training one can project that a little better because michael jordan sounds so muted at times and perhaps it is more apparent when put up against over the top bugs bunny the soundtrack to space jam slaps throughout the entire movie this was the first cd i ever got i got a cd player Christmas 1996 along with two CDs, ZZ Top's Eliminator and the Space Jam soundtrack. I made no mention of wanting either, but I jammed out to both. And if you want a trip to mid 90s, kind of clean hip hop, a little bit of R. Kelly, I believe I can fly, this is the movie for you. And I think that the story is better than people give credit. It takes a real world circumstance, Michael Jordan's retirement, and returning back to the NBA and gives this over the top, totally untrue yet fun explanation behind it. Hey, the Looney Tunes got Jordan back to the Bulls. And finally, there is no way in hell I'm gonna watch whatever abomination LeBrick James is putting out there with a Space Jam and New Legacy. Oh, come on, you need help? I I, I, look, I hate LeBron James so very much. I can't stand him at all. I, I didn't watch the trailer for that. But now I'm seeing them just pop up and they're giving us these 3D CGI cartoons. And it's like, no, that's, that's not what 
Bugs Bunny and friends are all about over here. This is not their world. You shouldn't be doing this to them. We didn't ask for that shit with the Lion King. Why are you doing this? And it's just another step in LeBron trying to mimic MJ. I want to use your number. I want to make the sequel to your movie. LeChoke, you will never be the GOAT. For all I care, your version of Space Jam can be about how the Looney Tunes convinced you to take your talents to South Beach. Frankly, I would have rather seen Tom Brady recruited to play football to save Mickey Mouse. It might surprise you, but I give Space Jam three out of four stars. If you appreciate a YouTube channel that doesn't just pad out content to get to the eight minute mark so that it can hammer you with ad breaks, then you should subscribe to my son's channel. You just got done watching it.